All right, today our viewer has asked, do babies need a B12 supplement? Oh my, uh, let me put a little bit of a twist on that question. Do babies need vitamin B12? Yes, and they do, you bet. It's serious business. They can be severely injured metabolically if they, if they are raised a, on a vitamin B12 deficient diet. No, they absolutely need it. Do they need a supplement? You know, we've got a little newborn nursing there. It's hard to imagine, uh, you know, that they're going to be taking B12 tablets under their tongue, etc. Uh, so at the risk, I think, probably stating the obvious, uh, they're getting their nutrition through the breast milk. And all their vitamins and minerals are coming through the breast milk, including vitamin B12. So guess who needs to get that B12 into the breast milk there? Uh, is it, so do babies need B12 supplements? No, but the, but the breastfeeding mother certainly does because she is the sole source of vitamin B12 uh, for this child. And so uh, it's essential for uh, moms uh, who are breastfeeding. I would recommend a, uh, a good uh, cyanocobalamin or methylcobalamin supplement, 1,000 micrograms three times a week uh, while you're breastfeeding certainly through the first, well, six months minimum, but I think breastfeeding should go on minimum 12 months, but preferably 18 to 24 months. And mom should be taking the, the uh, B12 three times a week, all through breastfeeding time. Once the baby's weaned, uh, and, if, and many of them by one year, certainly 14 months or so, they're running around, they're doing solid food, and uh, biting on the nipple, let mom know it's time to, uh, for that chapter to you know, be over. Uh, the child still needs B12. Their brain is growing, their blood is, their bone marrow is putting out lots of new blood, need vitamin B12 to do that. Uh, so you need to get it again. Uh, the most convenient way probably, there's lots of good vegan yeah, liquid multivitamins uh, for kids. And uh, if you're making up a smoothie, you can put a squirt out in a smoothie, you can put it in and mix it with applesauce. Uh, there are lots of ways to disguise it and get it in. And probably not even every day, probably you know, every other day, if they got a squirt of a liquid multivitamin that had vitamin B12 in it, surely uh, possibly some folate as well. Uh, and uh, just a little hit of zinc, uh, vitamin K2 until their greens intake is uh, sufficient. Uh, those are, and, and vitamin D, if they're spending all day inside, uh, though that might be helpful as well, but they absolutely uh, need to get at least a, you know, a drop or two of a liquid vitamin B12 supplement a few times a week. So um, if they're breastfeeding, the mom's the one who's got to take the supplement. If the child is eating on their own, uh, yeah, three times a week, uh, find some devious way to get some vitamin B12 into that child because it's nervous system and bone marrow really need it. Good question. Thank you. All right. I think that's a, a great answer. And um, I know that, of course, breastfeeding is, is the best way to get it straight to the child. But if for some reason there are some moms out there that aren't able to breastfeed or, or parents in general, is there um, a, a, something you would recommend if they're feeding their babies differently? Yes, um, there are commercial soy-based formulas and they usually have vitamin B12 in them. So you got to look at the label there. Uh, and you know, do, there's just no substitute for human mother's breast milk. It is just so full of antibodies and growth factors and all these things that commercial soy formula just doesn't have. And so uh, if you can, if, if there's any ingenious way, and nowadays um, it can be done, uh, there are online, there are, I don't know, the commercial, at least volunteer uh, human mother's milk banks where moms who are nursing, and there are these women who just have so much breast milk, they're, they're, they're especially in into bottles. Well, what do they do with them? Or maybe you can only drink so much. Well, there's a co-op of women who uh, uh, will uh, will share the, uh, after they've been tested for uh, HIV and hepatitis and all this stuff, there's ways to do it properly. But see if you can get in on a, on a uh, human mother uh, breast milk co-op. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing, a milk bank. 
Um, there used to be lots of them in the 60s and 70s, and they kind of disappeared. Now they've made a comeback with the internet and Facebook and all that stuff. So see if you can get some real human mother's breast milk. That would really be ideal. And other than that, then move on to one of these soy formulas. So, uh, and um, I would continue the multivitamin going uh, probably till the child is clearly uh, eating a wide variety of, of colorful fruits and vegetables uh, you know, up to age five. I would keep that little squirt of multivitamin a few times a week into their food. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.